So straight at launch, there may still be Oculus Quest 2 games that are not fully optimized yet for the device. Don't get me wrong, all games will get a resolution bump and they will also run smoother out of the box. However, for some games to have a bigger difference, developers need to optimize the game by for example adding 90Hz support or providing assets at higher resolutions. But today I'm sharing 8 games that already take advantage of the Quest 2 power, so this means you can play or maybe replay these immediately when you receive your headset. In this video, I'm going to introduce the game and I'll also be sharing my impressions on the differences. Some games I can even show side by side comparisons of Quest 1 and Quest 2. Other games I might show footage from the developers as they haven't updated the build yet, uh, but they will do that before launch. When the headset releases next week, we will most definitely see a lot more games getting enhanced, but for now, let's uh, check these out. And uh, hi, I'm Kaz, this is your channel for virtual reality tips. Consider subscribing if you like what you see, it would help us a lot if you do. And now, join me beyond reality. Okay. Before we get started, let me first tell you how I recorded the gameplay today. Please keep in mind that it's challenging to show the difference between the two headsets by a flat screen recording. So in my last comparison video, I used the Quest's internal recorder and today I tried a different method which allows me to set uh, video bit rates for better quality. What I use is my PC with ADB and screen copy to record, but bear in mind that even so, the video is always compressed a little and YouTube always compresses the video a little bit more too, sadly. So you may still have some trouble seeing the difference through this video, just keep in mind that in all games on the Quest 2 uh, will get a resolution bump out of the box and remember that 90Hz mode makes a much bigger difference and more noticeable one when you're actually inside the headset. So I think the best way to see the difference right now with this video is to watch in full screen on a bigger monitor and not just on a mobile phone. But even if you don't see it, I am also going to explain the differences as much as I can. Oh, and one last thing, screen copy causes a line in the footage. This is a limitation of the software, so please ignore that as you won't see that when you're playing. But I'm talking way too much, so let's get started. Number 8. Real VR Fishing on number 8 is Real VR Fishing, a fishing game with realistic scenery. It's a very calming and chill game for those who just want to relax. The game recently got an update for multiplayer co-op with up to 4 uses too, so I think it makes for an excellent game to hang out and talk with your friends, especially during these social distancing times. The Quest 2 version has gotten some nice upgrades. The developers said they doubled the texture resolution for the fish and in some stages. There are also enhanced background details and a setting is added for frame rate, so you can choose between high or low. Quest 1 also got upgrades by the way, so I actually found it hard to see the differences in the game, except maybe for some fish. But I was only in the first stage, so perhaps that's not the upgraded stage? The difference does seem significant if I look at these images that the devs posted. Number 7. Arizona Sunshine Arizona Sunshine is a zombie apocalypse survival game. The game's campaign mode will give you a feel what it's like to be in a zombie apocalypse with an interesting narrated storyline. And you don't have to do this alone, as the game can be played in co-op with up to 4 players. The game was first released in 2016 and it was one of the first, maybe even the first ever, zombie shooter that came out for consumer VR headsets. And by now, I call it a classic. So keep in mind that you may find the game's mechanics have aged by now, especially when compared to The Walking Dead, Saints and Sinners. But if you already own it on Quest 1, it may be fun to take a look at it again on the Quest 2, as it has updated visuals. The dev said Quest 2 includes HD zombies with full physics, enriched worlds, more blood spatter, birds, destructible glass and more. It will have real-time sniper scopes, dynamic lighting, higher resolution textures and light maps. That's a lot of upgrades. Unfortunately, at the time of making this video, the developers haven't added the updates to the build yet, so I couldn't check it out yet, but it will be added before launch. 
Number six, Trover Saves the Universe. Trover Saves the Universe is from the co-creator Rick and Morty, and is even voiced by Justin Roiland, the voice of Rick. If you know the series, then you will be pleased, as this game is exactly as strange and weird like the cartoon. And if you don't know the series, you should know that the comedy can be very mature. Although if you want, you can play a censored version, but where's the fun in that? The game is a fun mix of first-person gameplay where you control Trover in third person. You just don't control his foul mouth. But together, you save the universe in this adventure filled with combat, puzzles and morally questionable choices. The Quest 2 version will have the usual upgrades, so new crisp visuals, increased resolution and of course improved frame rate. Probably more but not much information have been given yet by the developers and I didn't see that much of a difference except for the usual smoother experience, so I'm not sure whether the devs added the upgrades yet, however it will be for sure at launch. Number 5. Apex Construct Apex Construct is a story-driven, single-player adventure with uh, lots of satisfying bow and arrow action. Set in a beautiful but strange post-apocalyptic world, you will battle enemy robots, solve puzzles and try to uncover the mystery of the conflict between two powerful AI. I do have to say, the gameplay has some repetitive elements in there as you'll be looking for key cards and codes to unlock doors many times, but this is one of the better bow and arrow adventures with a story on quest, in my opinion at least. The devs sent us a list of improvements for the Quest 2 version. The game will have higher resolution, no more foveated rendering so it's sharp around all the edges, more particle effects and this is interesting, more ragdolls on NPCs and more audio effects. Pretty cool I would say. Number 4. Super Hot VR I always tell people that if you are in this game, you will feel like Neo from the Matrix because in super hot VR, time only moves at a normal speed when you move. So this gives you numerous opportunities to reenact the famous bullet time scene. Super Hot VR is a first person shooter and strategy game with a minimalistic art style. There is no walking in the game as you are spawned from scene to scene where it's up to you to assess the situation and respond appropriately. Each sequence is a level with multiple scenes and if you die you will start over at the beginning of the sequence. It may look simple but don't be fooled, it's one heck of a workout plus you for sure feel like you've accomplished something big when you complete a level. As for the Quest 2 improvements, I'm actually not sure if this is updated already so I'm showing you the trailer where the devs show what they have improved. The devs have said that this Quest 2 version will have crispier visuals with support for improved render resolution, more detailed and higher resolution textures as well. It will also have cloud safe support for those transitioning from Quest 1 and support for 90Hz will come as well once Oculus opens it up. Number 3. Iron Lights Iron Lights is a unique single and online multiplayer VR dueling game. It is a back and forth melee game where the battle is in slow motion. When your opponent attacks you, you can only block and when you attack, vice versa. This makes for unique battles as it will challenge you to strategize. You can't just wiggle your sword at your opponent and you actually need to parry and block attacks. There are multiple classes and each weapon is physics based, so they have their own weight and advantages. This is one of those games easy to understand but hard to master, but a very polished game from an indie dev. If you haven't tried it yet, I recommend checking it out if you'd like melee combat. The Quest 2 updates have already been added and has increased resolution, which makes everything look a lot sharper, plus updated visuals with added effects like more lights and fine grains to make it all look closer to the PC VR version. And in my comparison with this game, I can see the difference very clearly. This game looks a lot better on the Quest 2. On number 2, Red Matter. Red Matter is probably the most beautiful game you will encounter on the Quest platform so far. The developers did an incredible job on the mobile processor. So Red Matter is set on an alien planet in a dystopian sci-fi cold war. You're an astronaut who took on a mission to investigate a top secret research project and you're equipped with high-tech tools. 
The game is full of exploration and challenging puzzles, especially the puzzles are great as it's diverse. Some make use of the environment and some make you feel like a true engineer. It's also a more slow paced game so if you like that, I highly recommend checking it out if you haven't yet. The devs were the first to enhance the game for the Quest 2. We already covered the enhancement before in a previous video, so if you want to see more comparisons, check that video out, I will link it below. To summarize, the Quest 2 version has enhanced textures, increased resolution of several textures, game resolution increased, dynamic fixed foveated rendering enabled, and lowered maximum fixed foveated rendering level. <laughs> what a mouthful. On number 1 is Waltz of the Wizard. The first launch of this game was in 2016. Back then, it was like a tech demo, but casting magic in VR for the first time felt amazing. It was actually one of the first VR games we've ever tried on a consumer VR headset, and it is what sold us on VR, so by now it's nostalgia for us jumping back in. In 2019, the devs released the Extended Edition, which includes more content, which is the version you can play now. So the base game doesn't have a story or anything, the game is more like a wizard simulation where the devs focus on making the magic as realistic as possible. So in the game you only explore a room, but it's full of easter eggs and secrets. There are many little puzzles to solve to unlock new spells or portals to different areas. It has a hand tracking compatibility too, and while the hand tracking isn't always great because it's in beta, I do love casting spells with just my hands. So I put this game on number one as I think this one is great for any VR newcomer. It's comfortable, high quality and it's just one of those games always top of mind to show friends the power of VR. The devs are also still very active and are planning a major expansion this year. So for the Quest 2 upgrades, it's a significant one here too. More real-time lights, true post-processing bloom for realistic glow effects, and this effect is for sure noticeable immediately as you can see in the footage too. It also has more interactive objects, increased wall detail, and a super resolution mode is coming, which increases resolution to 150% for crystal clear visuals. The difference is for sure huge in this one. So that's the list so far. And I have to say, in some games, the differences are really not that big. But in some other games, it is a huge difference. I would say I see the most difference in Red Matter, Iron Lights, and Waltz of the Wizard. So it will be interesting to see what other developers do. Now, the headset release is in about five days now. Are you excited? And let me know what you think of the enhancements so far. Which game will you try first? Drop it all below in the comments. And if you are a developer who just added Quest 2 enhancements, feel uh, free to let us know so uh, we can uh, check it out. If you got some time left, you could uh, support us by watching more videos. And don't forget to join our giveaway as there are only a couple of days left. Stay healthy and I hope to see you in the next a special thanks goes to our champions uh, especially those down below right now and as always vr on